17 years ago, I had an abdominal surgery. I was taking a shower one night and I felt a large lump in my stomach. I went in on a Friday, Saturday morning I was being operated on. Don's story is, uh, is an interesting one. He's been dealing with aneurysms for a number of years. In fact, I think it was over 15 years ago he had his first aneurysm repair, which was uh, the more common abdominal aortic aneurysm. At that time, he had an open surgical repair. An aneurysm is really when there's kind of a weakening in the wall of the aorta, so that then the aorta kind of dilates or develops a, a bulge where that wall has uh, weakened. And then the big concern is that when that wall becomes stretched thin and it's dilated, that it can burst and patients could potentially bleed, oftentimes bleeding to death from that. Dawn unfortunately went on to develop uh, dilation and formation of an aneurysm above his prior aneurysm repair. You can see that the aorta kind of bulges out and dilates here. This is his aneurysm. And you can see that all the branches that go to his intestines and his kidneys all come off of this aneurysm. And down below, this is where he's had his prior aneurysm repair. I'm 78 years old. One thing I didn't want is another open surgery. Figuring at my age, I don't know what shape I'd be in if I'd be able to recoup and be back to the same physical strength that I was before. Looking at these pictures, it makes you want to take another trip. An open repair would have been quite complex in his case. He would have needed that incision that went from the chest all the way into the abdomen. It would have required that we temporarily stop the blood flow to the lower half of his body, to his kidneys, all his abdominal organs, and there are significant risks uh, associated with that. So, you know, he was facing a, a pretty big challenge. And because it's such a large operation, there is a significant risk for death or complications. We were able to enroll him in our clinical trial using a custom-designed stent graft. Over the last 10 to 20 years, new techniques have been developed to allow minimally invasive treatment of aortic aneurysms. And as opposed to making an incision in the abdomen, clamping off the aorta, removing the aneurysm, and replacing it with a graft that we actually sew in place, we actually go in through the blood vessels at the top of the patient's leg. That's where we enter the blood vessel. And then working from within those blood vessels under x-ray guidance, we can place what's called a stent graft. It's basically a new tube that we put inside the aorta to reline it. Currently, while Cornell Medical College is the only facility, to my knowledge, in the Northeast uh, with FDA approval to run a clinical trial using custom-designed stent grafts for treatment of complex aortic aneurysms. I was in the hospital with this procedure six days. I would have probably been in the hospital at least twice as long. These more complex aneurysms, that involve the aorta higher up, where the branches come off to supply these critical organs. That's been the challenge, how to repair these using these minimally invasive techniques. So the newer procedures that we're offering are using newer generation stent grafts that actually have branches to allow basically us to replumb all of these little branches off of the aorta and fix these very complex aneurysms. We're really just scratching the surface, I think that Whatever we think we're doing that's great and minimally invasive now, it's going to be even better in the future. And that's the point of pushing forward with these uh, clinical trials. This procedure turned out to be a godsend. I'm walking well, I'm sleeping well, I have a good appetite. What more can I ask for?